Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to our EPO integration webinar brought to you by DLT. We are joined today by industry experts from both McAfee and Forescap. I'd like to take this moment to thank Christopher Johnston, sales engineer from McAfee, and Tamara Baker, senior systems engineer from Forescap for being here today. If you have any questions throughout the webinar or any time afterwards, please feel free to contact us via email at McAfee at DLT.com or Forescout at DLT.com. So without further ado, Chris, I'll have you take it away. So thanks to DLT and Forescout for hosting this today. We're going to start talking about McAfee ePolicy Orchestrator. So... What do more consoles mean in practice? It makes a tough job tougher. Complexity hinders visibility and speed. Orchestrating security manually through multiple systems often means the job you are doing is not the job that you would rather be doing. This costs time and money and it frustrates IT personnel and management. The McAfee ePolicy Orchestrator is our foundational central security management software that manages every McAfee security solution as well as over 140 solutions from our partners. EPO connects and manages the products that make up the security connected framework. The automation and extensibility that enterprises need. EPO is command and control for security operations. It is the single pane of glass for managing policies, deployment, and reporting to make managing and connecting security simpler and more efficient. From a single console, EPO provides flexible, automated security management capabilities so users can identify, manage, and respond to security issues and threats. That makes it possible for customers to extract more value from the management level investments and enables the improved risk postures and cost-effective security that are central to the security connected approach. Five points to highlight. EPO provides a single point of reference across the IT infrastructure. Single console and agent for endpoint including Mac and Linux systems, data, email web security, and risk compliance. Open, scalable management architecture allows customers to leverage security products from 100 partners. Interactive web-based dashboards, customizable and drag-and-drop environment, plus reporting tools that reduce the number of management and reporting tools needed to secure the enterprise. A cloud version is now available, optimized for SMB so EPO can work on-premises or in the cloud, real-time, for McAfee EPO is a unique product that provides answers to queries and actions up to a thousand times faster than historically possible. Learn information in seconds and then act on it and report on it. McAfee's approach to bridge these gaps is embodied in a philosophy called Security Connected. The Security Connected platform for McAfee provides a unified framework for hundreds of products, services, and partners to learn from each other, share context-specific data in real time, and act as a team to keep information and networks safe. The Security Connected platform includes integrated solutions that address analytics with McAfee ESM, provides high-speed high data mining and risk assessment based on hundreds of data sources, and can directly integrate with McAfee countermeasures and threat intelligence to guide data-driven risk management. Context and orchestration. DXL is the first extensible high-speed communication layer that allows intelligence sharing, product deployment, and distribution of policies and protections, as well as threat intelligence. Only McAfee creates aggregate picture based on local custom intelligence, a global cross-vector threat intelligence network, and third-party data services to drive countermeasure actions and efficient incident response. 
And finally, at the foundation of the Security Connected is McAfee ePolicy Orchestrator, which provides a critical connective framework and an open platform. It unites product and technology components, as well as process and policies, to enable an efficient, secure IT infrastructure that businesses can build on as they identify and pursue global business opportunities. And with that, I'm going to pass it over to our partner, Forescout, and they're going to talk about their integration into the EPO platform. Thank you, CJ. Thanks, McAfee. Thanks, DLT. I uh, appreciate uh, the hosting of this event. I'm Tamara Baker. I'm with Forest Scout here, and I'm just going to go over a couple of quick slides uh, as well as show what the integration between Forest Scout and the uh, McAfee EPO product looks like. Um, there's a couple things, though. I know that there are a number of people watching this that aren't familiar with Forest Scout, so just some high level stuff with Forest Scout I want to go over. Um, first and foremost, the, uh, there's three components of it, C control and orchestrate that we'll talk to. Um, Forescout's here as a, a, a security framework also to just really uh, fill in all the gaps that, that we find in these uh, architectures. So, you know, what we've noticed is a lot of incomplete and inaccurate data on, from multiple sources because my existing tools only see a portion of the data, um, you know, that they rely on either agents or or uh, scanners to come out and do uh, scheduled scans. So um, we want to make sure that we cover all these gaps, fill these things in, as well as you know fixing any uh, missing or broken agents as well. So for all those tools that do require agents, we want to make sure that those agents are are fully fixed, and um, that way the tools that you've already invested in will actually work the way that they need to work. Other gaps that we've noticed is uh, there, there's you know, they're only providing a piece of the picture. So maybe they'll provide the endpoint data information, or maybe they'll provide only network information, but nothing merges all these things. And, and most of the time, it's also just reporting only, um, no network level segmentation. So we're gonna also make sure we fill that gap. Uh, IoT is also missed a lot of the time. And, and what we found is the, the non workstations, Windows, Mac, and Linux boxes that are on the network actually are, typically three times more prolific on the network than the actual managed devices. Uh, also, we talked about the scanners being periodic and we wanna make sure that we're catching those uh, periodic scans, uh, uh, catching those transient devices that have missed their, their scans during the scheduled scans. So uh, just the, the three foundations that we talked about were seat control and orchestrate, uh, giving the visibility in one place, both deep and wide. Uh, as well as visibility into all of the IoT, OT, PIT, SCADA, all those different types of networks that you have in your environment. We, have, we provide that visibility into one interface for all those different devices and provide continuous monitoring of everything versus periodic. Uh, with control, it's NAC, so network access control with or without .1x. So if you are a fan of 802.1x, you can leverage that. If you don't like .1x, we can still do control without it. Uh, it provides automatic quarantine segmentation and even remediation uh, for all your different devices managed as well as IoT. With Orchestrate, uh, there are a number of tools that we do orchestrate with. However, today, obviously, we're going to focus on the uh, McAfee EPO orchestration, uh, and we'll get to that here in a minute. But I want to first show you the different ways that Forescout sees devices. Uh, this is important to know because well, when you're looking at all the different methods here, you'll see that there are no blind spots. So we're not just relying on a sensor on each segment, or we're not looking for ping sweeps or scans of the network. We're actually polling all the switches and routers and wireless access points and VPN concentrators. We're receiving traps, and um, we can actually bring in NetFlow or SPAN and you know all these different sources of, of traffic uh, to prevent any type of blind spots on your network. And then when it comes to control, it's not just network control. So there are, you know, three levels of control. We can notify, we can conform, and then we can restrict. And it's both host-based as well as network-based. So I'm not going to get into every one of these because, uh, you know, we're, the time is short here. But I just want to show you that we can, we can do anything from notify the user to notify an admin to, you know, self-remediate, to uh, put them in a... Uh, remediation VLAN or apply an ACL, even trigger uh, custom scripts on the endpoint to automatically remediate. Uh, custom, and this is again with Windows, Mac, or Linux. So we can apply all sorts of host 
uh, or network level controls here. And then orchestration is important as well, as, as CJ mentioned, right? We want to bring all these tools together so that you, you can automate your workflows. Um, you know, Forescout obviously or, is, is orchestrating with a number of companies. And today, again, we're going to just focus on the uh, Max BEPO integration. So what you get is an out-of-the-box bidirectional integration with Forescout and McAfee. So you don't have to do any type of custom APIs or, or any type of SQL database you know, coding or anything of that nature. It's literally out of the box. You provide, per, you know, the credentials to, to the appliance and, and we can go ahead and do all this stuff. So it's assessment and continuous monitoring of the agent health, for example, making sure the agent is not only installed and running, but also communicating back to the EPO server. Um, and we can also populate the RSD uh, database with rogue devices connecting to the network that, you know, EPO may have missed. Uh, also, making sure that all the EPO uh, modules are, are on the endpoint. So it's not just the agent, but all the different modules there. And then, um, bidirectionally, once EPO discovers any type of threat on your network through the multiple, uh, you know, venues that it has, as you saw from CJ, um, that the EPO server can tag that endpoint as a threat uh, and, and trigger a network level quarantine. So Forescout can read those at EPO tags and then quarantine a device based off of, um, you know, the switch or wireless access point or even virtual endpoint if we need to uh, apply a, a virtual port group action as well. Uh, we'll have questions here at the end. So I do want to just show you guys real quick uh, a little bit of what the GUI looks like to, you know, to show what the integration looks like. So this is a Forescout Counteract GUI. Uh, when you log into Counteract, this is what you're going to see all the different hosts on your network. Again, this is everything that's connected to the network, um, you know, not just limited to just the, the managed workstations. Uh, we do provide a full, complete inventory of everything, so including all those IoT devices and SCADA devices and everything else. So if you ever want to know how many, you know, printers are on your network, you can click in here and see it, and, and it'll provide you the list of all the printers, as well as it gives you all the other inventory, too, so you can see every version of Windows, every version of Mac and Linux on your network. It can give you all the different Windows applications installed and see all the different versions of every application. And everything is custom searchable, too. So if I type in something like Java here, I can see every different version of Java or Adobe on my network. I also want to show you on this home screen, too, it makes it really simple to find a device on your network. So if I, at any point in time I need to locate a user or a machine or whatever it may be, I can come in here and do a custom search. Um, typing in whatever details I have, so if it's a user's name or a host IP or workstation uh, name or whatever it may be, I can type that in and I can immediately gather uh, all the details about that endpoint, exactly where they're connected on my network, which switch, which port, which VLAN, um, and then all the other host details about that endpoint can uh, is uh, at your fingertips right down here. Now, we're going to talk again about the EPO integration today. Uh, what that gets us is multiple things that we're going to check for with Forescout. Uh, first and foremost, there's different products that are going to be installed by EPOs, so all the different, uh, you know, modules that you may uh, find important for your environment. Uh, so we're going to check to make sure not only is the correct product installed, but also is it running. So we're going to look for, for example, the EPO agent itself. And you want to find specific build numbers. As you're upgrading, you want to make sure that everybody uh, is connected to the correct build. Uh, we also want to make sure that the same thing with any of the other products or modules, that they're all at the right and latest build number, and then the DAT file for the antivirus is up to date. So we want to say, hey, well, is the DAT file older than two days or older than three days or whatever it may be? Uh, we want to trigger automatic actions to remediate that. So it'll automatically update the DAT file for you uh, without any human intervention. What that means is as soon as the device connects to the network, it's going to run through these checks and automatically fix any problems that it sees. So Counteract uh, which is the Forescout product, will also check to make sure that the agent is running, uh, the service is running for all the different modules, so if they've got the HIPS firewall module or whatever other modules may be, we want to make sure that it's installed and running, and if it's not installed and running, we need to fix that. So this is an example of the firewall service installed but not running. It's a simple automatic action, which is a script that uh, gets executed on the endpoint to start that service for you. So it'll automatically fix any issues with that as well, which is really important because the healthier your EPO integration is, or excuse me, the, your EPO product deployment is, 
the better and more secure your environment will be. So as CJ did discuss all the different facets of the EPO server, we want to make sure that you can actually make make use and utilize that EPO server by uh, uh, and, and, and it's automated fashion by making sure that everything's running the way it should be as soon as devices connect to the network. And on the EPO side as well, when devices are connecting, not only are we checking the host, so these policies are checking the host themselves to make sure that the correct installs and, and, and services are all running. Um, but on the EPO server itself, we want to also make sure that the MAC agent's running and registered and communicating to say, hey, not only are we seeing it on the host, but the EPO server is also seeing this as a registered device and communicating properly. And if it's not, automatically send a, an, an alert to the EPO server to manage that device and send that agent out to that endpoint. And as we discussed as well, so through the bi-directional nature of the integration, if the EPO server finds any threats through uh, any of the threat feeds or any of these other tools or modules, it can tag an endpoint with a quarantine. And once an EPO infection is detected, uh, Forescout will go ahead and, and um, quarantine that device via whatever network method it's connected on. So if it's connected via a switch, it'll quarantine via uh, 802.1x or an ACL or an AC, a VLAN assignment, or it could do a wireless uh, quarantine as well as the virtual quarantine too. So uh, that's about it. It was a really quick run through. We're going to have uh, the opportunity to ask questions. Uh, please, if you have any further questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and ask them. Uh, as well as if you'd like to see anything further, uh, we'll be happy to uh, reach out to us and we'll, we can dive down a little bit deeper on either the integration or, or our individual tools themselves. Thank you. Thanks again to Chris Johnston and Tamara Baker for lending us their expertise today. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at any time via email at mcafee at dlt.com or forescout at dlt.com. We hope you've enjoyed this webinar and look forward to sharing more with you in the future.